first step of the nail is pretty easy. You have to build your nail. You can use a tip or a form. I used a form and I used builder gel. You can use acrylic as well. You just build the nail out as long as you want it. But it has to be long enough so that you can get um, your shape in there um, drilled out. It is quite long and then if I turn it sideways it has thickness in here. Let me flip it over. as Just put a nail form back on the nail just like that and I always like to use a no wipe top coat to do this part. You're making the bottom right now, okay? Don't fill it all the way up either. I mean, because you need that. That's your aquarium tank. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that for probably about five seconds in my lamp and I'll be back. And I'm going to go ahead and do it again. The reason that I like to use a no wipe top coat is that I don't have to mess around cleaning the inside because if you don't get all that stickiness out of there, all your glitter and anything else that you have inside is going to stick to that. Just make sure you get all the little cracks or anything around the edges. So I cured this for about 10 seconds. Now we're gonna remove the form. And just be careful. You wanna check and look around here and make sure there's no openings. We're gonna flip the nail over and we're going to strengthen the back of the nail because you don't wanna strengthen it by adding any more inside the tank or your tank is gonna to be too small and not deep enough. So you wanna flip the nail over and um, build up the back. Here is the three layers already cured and that's what it looks like from underneath and if I flip it over that is what it looks like and now I'm going to just turn it back over and I'm going to add about two layers of builder gel to give it even more strength and so that the color of course won't wear off. Very carefully drill a hole in the back here and this is where I'm going to fill the aquarium nail with the oil or water or whatever you choose and you have to be very careful uh, so that you don't crack this and I'm going to use this little bit here it's a cuticle bit and it's really soft and it's good for this turn the drill off now so you don't crack the nail you don't want to crack this after all the work you did just there now you just clean it out make the top for the aquarium, a white top coat, and we're just gonna just make like a square that's long enough because we're gonna trim this uh, later on to fit. No white top coat that I'm using is Elite 99, and it's really almost like um, when you cure it in this thin layer, but when you cure it, it becomes it's almost like really soft and pliable, kind of like a flimsy piece of plastic. So um, I'm going to do probably three coats and I'm going to cure each coat for 10 seconds. I'm going to start adding the things to my little tank. So I need to plug up this hole here, a little piece of tape and you just put it on the hole and plug it up for now. Add a little shell and a little female fish. He's so cute. He's my favorite. A little touch of glitter. That's why I got the hole plugged up so the glitter won't come out. Now I don't want to overdo it on the glitter because it's just such a small space. I'm going to be using IBD Intense Seal around the perimeter of the tank so that it will act as a glue. So I had to kind of maneuver that. You can see that skin on there. Do you see it? It's like a it's like a plastic, and I had to do it off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that, and then trim the rest of it off. As I'm trimming it, I'm coming in and putting some IBD Intense Seal underneath that little part that I trimmed and flash curing that into place. And then I'll go around, I'll trim the rest of that off. All trimmed and secured into place with the IBD Intense Seal. Take a little bit more of the IBD Intense Seal and just kind of brush it right over top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I'm just gonna use some thick builder gel 
and cap that in. And you can make it just a thin layer for right now. This is what's gonna give it strength here so that it doesn't break. Or so that it doesn't crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Now time to fill it with oil, coconut oil. See that bubble there? You wanna get that out. You can get the bubble to where it is right under the hole here and then you can put your needle in and squirt in more oil and get that bubble out. If you have a tiny bubble, that's fine, but nothing too big. We're gonna plug it up with some of that clear blue gel and hurry up and flash cure it. Okay, so it's all plugged up and I'm just gonna come back in with some more of the blue um, clear builder gel and just put some more on the back. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that. See, there's the bubble right there. And that's not bad, as long as it's really no bigger than that, that will actually help with movement inside the tank. Let me turn it sideways and you can see it's kind of dipped down in there. I use a white buffing block and I'm going to have to be very careful that I don't file into this area. Just lightly buff it and clean it and then I will again cap it, uh, building a little bit better structure in here. But actually yeah, I kind of like it. And then of course I'm going to decorate around the tank.